Good morning class. Today I would like to discuss about the additional and subtraction of radical expressions. Sa mga bago pa lang dyan dito sa channel ko, pakihit na lang po ang uh, subscription button sa baba at saka pakibill all na rin po para updated kayo sa upcoming ko pang videos. Pakilike and share na rin po para sa inyong mga friends and relatives. Thank you so much po. So bago ko ipagpatuloy ang aking discussion, nais ko po muna kayo na maging familiarize sa expression na ito. Kasi ito lagi ang ating magagamit dito sa ating additional and subtraction of radical expression. So this area is our index and this is our radical symbol. Inside the radical symbol is our radicand which is x. So Pag ganito, additional and subtraction, dito tayo mag-focus sa ating index at saka sa ating radicand. Okay, additional and subtraction of radical expressions. Two radicals can be combined using additional or subtraction and expressed as one radical if they have the same index and radicand. Here is our example. Square root of 3 plus 4 square root of 3. Dito tayo lagi magpo-focus or dito tayo titingin sa ating index. Asan ang index? Nandito ang ating index. Index at saka index kabila. Tapos susunod na ating titingnan, ang ating pupukusan ay ang ating radicand. Ngayon, ang sabi dito sa ating nabasa ay sa mula sa libro, 2 radicals can be combined using additional or subtraction and expressed as one radical if they have the same index the same index and the same radicand so in this problem our index and our radicand are the same am i right Okay, so ang, ang gagawin natin ngayon kasi magparehas ang ating index at ang ating radikan, we're going to express as one radical if they have the same index and radikan. So pag aad arin na lang natin sila ngayon kasi magparehas na ang ating index at ang ating radikan. So our final answer equals... Square root of 3 plus 4 square root of 3. So, understood na may 1 dito. At ang ating index ay 2. 1 plus 4, 5. 1 plus 4 is 5. Ang gagawin natin ngayon kasi ang index natin at ay magparihas naman at saka ang ating radikan copy na lang natin kasi magparihas na sila so this is our final answer 5 is square root of 3 so this is the additional solution next 7 square root of y minus square root of y so our problem is 7 square root of y minus square root of y so tingnan natin ulit ang ating index they have the same index they have also the same radicand so ang gagawin natin subtract natin dahil ang sign dito ay subtraction so 7 minus 1 kasi understand na mayroon 1 dito. So, equals 6 din copy our index and radicand. And this is our final answer. 6 square root of y.
नेक्स्ट एग्जाम्पल सिक्स स्क्वेर ऑफ टू प्लस एट स्क्वेर ऑफ टू माइनस सेवेन स्क्वेर ऑफ टू सो मपापनसी नाटिन परिहसंग आतिन इंडेक्सेस अतंग आतिन रैडिकन व्हिच इस टू सो अंग गवी नाटिन गयोन आई एड एंड सब्ट्रैक्शन ओके हाउ कैन वी एड एंड सब्ट्रैक्ट क्वाल्स सिक्स प्लस एट माइनस सेवेन तीन कपिड़ा एंडिक्स एंड रैडिकंड स्क्वेयर रूट ऑफ टू सो इक्वल्स सिक्स प्लस एट फोर्टीन माइनस सेवेन सेवेन तीन कपी आवर एंडिक्स एंड रैडिकंड स्क्वेयर रूट ऑफ टू And this is our final answer. Next. The sum of two radicals, we cannot express the sum as one radical since they have different radicands. So, pag magkaiba daw ang kanilang radicands, hindi natin pwedeng pagsamahin kasi magkaiba nga ang kanilang radicand. So this is our example. Square root of 16 plus square root of 25 minus 81. So ngayon gagawin natin kasi magkaiba ang kanilang radicand. Dito ay 16. Dito naman ay 25. At ang isa naman ay 81. So they are different radicand. But they are the same index. So, ang gagawin natin ngayon, i-extract lang natin ang square root of 16, square root of 25, and square root of 81. So, what is the square root of 16? Square root of 16 is 4. Then, Square root of square root of twenty five. Five. Square root of eighty one. Nine. Equals. So ngayon, wala na siyang radical symbol kasi in extract na nat wala dito sa Square root of 16, square root of 25, square root of 81. So, in extract natin, square root of 16 is 4, square root of 25 is 5, then square, square root of 81 is 9. So, 4 plus 5 is 9, minus 1, 9, 0. So, our final answer is 0. Okay, next. The sum of two radicals, we cannot express the sum as one radical since they have different indices. So they have different indices, but the same radicand. Different indices and the same radicand or similar radicand. So our index here is 2 and our index here is 3. So we call this square root of 3 plus cube root of 3. So ang sabi dito, this, the sum of two radicals, we cannot express the sum as one radical since they have different indices. So mag, magkaiba naman ang ating uh, indices ngayon. So, magiging final na answer natin ay square root of 3 plus cube root of 3. Kasi, magkaiba ang ating index but magparehas ang ating radicand. 
And this is our final answer. So, ganyan na lang sila kasi hindi sila pwedeng pagsamahin dahil magkaibang kanilang index or indices. Next, 6 squared of x minus square root of x plus 5 square cube root of x. Looking out again, magka magkaiba ang kanilang indices. Square root, square root, and cube root. But, they are the same radicand. x, x, x. So, ang pagsasamahin na lang natin ngayon ay ang magparehas ang index at magparehas ang radicand. So, nasaan ang magparehas ang index at ang magparehas ang radicand? Equal. 6. 6. Minus 1. Kasi understand that may 1 dito. Copy the index and radicand x plus 5 cube root of x next 6 minus 1 5 6 minus 1 5 Right? 5. So, copy the index and radicand. Square root of x, y, x plus 5 cube root of x. Kasi, magkaiba na ngayon ang kani, magkaiba pa rin ang kanilang radi, uh, index ngayon. Kaya, hindi pa natin, hindi natin sila pwedeng pagsamahin. So, ito yung ating magiging final answer na ngayon. Okay.